<coughs> Hello and welcome to Seven Sentinels, this Grandmaster class and I'm Peter Simon with you. Today we are taking speaking sessions for nurses and doctors. And now we have Rajya Lakshmi from Saudi Arabia, originally from Telangana, India. Yeah, Rajya Lakshmi, get ready and start. Something wrong here. Yes, Rajya Lakshmi, unmute. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, nurse. Please have you a seat. Thank you very much, nurse. My name is Raju Lakshmi, one of the registered nurses working in this community health center. How may I address you? You can call me John Alex. Uh, my name is John Alex. You can call me John. Okay, Mr. John, what brings you today here? Actually, I'm here regarding my mother's health report. Can you please tell me, nurse, what's going on? I don't understand. Please explain me everything. Okay, all right. I understand. I will explain you details. Do you have any idea of the cholesterol? Mm, frankly speaking, I don't have even the faintest idea about what cholesterol is. I would be thankful to you, nurse, if you explain me everything in detail. Okay, try not to worry. I will explain you detail regarding the cholesterol. Cholesterol will be present, mostly present in the body tissues. It will be, there are the two types of the cholesterol will be present. There are the high density cholesterol and the low density cholesterol. Uh, high density cholesterol will be good cholesterol in our body. It will be, it will not harm anything. And the low density cholesterol lipoproteins will be harm in our body. It will be whenever it is developing for the lipoprotein in the low density cholesterol, it will automatically uh, our cardiac problems will be present. Is it clear, John? Yes, yes, nurse. I can understand that. Yeah. And uh, this uh, fatty deposit will be present in the arteries and arteries. So it will lead to the heart disease and it will lead to the stroke also. It will be present. And, uh, and uh, according to the, your mother, cholesterol will be the, the only that elevated in the 5.5 mm mole from the liter in the blood. Okay. Ashwili. It is the normal cholesterol level will be five or below five. That is the normal cholesterol. Just it is uh, there now it is uh, your mother is uh, developing for the little bit. It, it is a borderline. Is it clear? Yeah, of course, yes, that's quite clear. And uh, I want to know one thing. The doctor actually told, he used the term a fairly high level of cholesterol. What does he actually mean by that? Is that any problem? And I'm concerned because my mother's condition, I'm concerned whether her condition would uh, uh, develop into something worse, yes? Your concerns are reasonable and uh, it is elevated just above the 5.5. Your mother cholesterol will be 5.5 because it is good. Whenever it is started for the uh, increasing the cholesterol level, automatically we are not taking any precautions. It will be increase the cholesterol levels. That's the reason the fairly high level cholesterol doctor has told. So before we have to reduce for the cholesterol levels. So whenever we are taking precautions for the reducing the cholesterol level, it will not get to any other complications and health conditions. Is it clear? Yeah, that's fine, uh, nurse. That's really very nice of you. Thank you very much for the explanation. And uh, nurse, I want to know, what do you think my mother's cholesterol level should be? Yeah, your concerns are reasonable and you should be maintained for your mother cholesterol level is the normally. And because I would like to advise some advices, I would like to give you to maintain for the normal cholesterol levels. And 
the cholesterol level maintenance means you have to the means the need to take care about the mainly diet okay, okay. and you have to uh, avoid the saturated fatty foods for example the saturated fatty food means the red yeah. meat and fast foods and um, the fried foods butter cheese coconut oil ice cream chocolates these all it will be under the saturated fatty foods it should be avoid that are you following to me yes nurse definitely i am able to understand what you are telling and uh, do you have any further advice about what my mother should do to minimize her cholesterol level yeah it's a good reasonable question i would like to suggest for your mother to give the, the more fiber foods like it's a beans and dry fruits vegetables fruits and green leafy vegetables these all food contains for the uh, it is the, the it will not increase for the cholesterol levels and along with that she has to follow for the daily life uh, lifestyle activities physical activities and diet pattern how does that sound yes nurse that's very fine thank you very much do you thank have you any other concern no nurse you have cleared all my doubts thank okay. you once again i would like to suggest you whatever i have what i suggest you you have to follow for this all instructions after that we will check for the your mother cholesterol levels Okay. okay. Nice okay. to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. Have a great day. Yeah. So now Rajya Lakshmi from Saudi Arabia. Rajya Lakshmi, uh, confidence level. I don't know. You are lacking confidence level a little. You are speaking fine, no problem. But level confidence is low in you. Okay. You do, you don't have that confidence level to you know while you are speaking. your subject is fine no doubt regarding that one, but you have to build up your confidence even people who do mistakes also should have confidence no problem mistakes happen but confident even if it is a mistake do mistakes confidently no problem think whatever i am speaking i am speaking that's what i know so speak like that that see you should do like this i am speaking i am speaking very nicely whatever i know that much i am speaking very nicely maybe i am not perfect it's okay to not to be perfect okay but whatever i am speaking i am doing good to my level best i am trying my level best that sort so no need to worry about anything so that level of confidence should be there okay if not today tomorrow i will do that sort so no problem at all and uh, second one pauses and breaks or several pauses and breaks are there um the next one grammar grammar you need to improve a lot and vocabulary vocabulary is average okay vocabulary is average you can try to practice more new words and as and now see how others are speaking and you can implement those things uh, is okay is not less it's average average means okay okay not very excellent not very less it's moderate it's fine fine okay that's enough to get a, a pass mark vocabulary wise others different okay vocabulary is okay then next one pronunciation pronunciation is fine um, the message is understood there is no confusion when you pronounce something everybody can understand that there is no problem with that Uh, but the accent is little um, different that's okay that's still okay because indianized accent we have so that's not a problem and then uh, accuracy you have to focus more on accuracy what you exactly want to tell what you exactly want to tell but that message is it going on or not so accurately you have to represent how can you represent accurately that means take sentence after sentence one sentence at a time okay what you are doing is uh, you are in a hurry to explain but you, when you are speaking one sentence you are thinking about another sentence maybe too fast you are thinking maybe because of that one you are getting little puzzled and confused otherwise it's fine okay little slow down and everything will be fine the next one fluency is fine fluency is fine okay flow of thought flow of thought is also good okay flow of thought is good you are getting point after point you are getting everything step by step you are explaining but why it is you are not explaining clearly you are giving minimum information okay not more information or additional information for example you can say <coughs> this is one of the most common problems many people are facing 
and they are able to manage it properly by implementing the suggestions provided by the doctor. Firstly, taking the medications appropriately. Secondly, uh, participating in the exercises provided. And lastly, following the dietary regimen. So seriously or rigorously, see how I have spoken. Like that you can give some points. Okay, all these things, whatever I have told you also know. Don't you know Lak uh, Raja Lakshmi? Yes, sir. You know now, whatever I told you, you know that, right? Yes, 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 sir. Then why are you not able to speak? Uh, I thought speak? it's uh, whatever they mention there, uh, we need to uh, tell that one only. Most of means uh, See, means, uh, right. uh, so okay. that's the reason I didn't explain because I know the they're taking medication is the first one and uh, exercise. Right. That's why lastly I mentioned for the exercise. Okay, fine. That's okay. See here, whatever it is, I'm just giving you an idea. Which are, I'm giving you an idea. It doesn't mean that you have to speak like that only. Okay. okay? It okay, doesn't okay. mean that okay. you have to speak like, I'm just giving you an idea. Okay, rough idea, rough set. Tests. I'm not telling for this test only. I'm telling for any test. Okay. See, for example, advise your visitor about how his mother can best deal with her cholesterol. For example, this is only one example, okay? Okay. This is only one example. Okay. He, he did not say only this. This is in brackets. You don't speak that also. It's okay. okay. Don't speak this one. Speak about uh, uh, medication compliance or speak about uh, uh, exercises. Don't speak about this. It's not compulsory, you know, what I'm saying. In the brackets can be excluded or can be added or along with that similar things also can be added. You understand now? Yes, yes, yes. In bracket, he just gave one example. And you're taking only one example. Why? There are many other examples, no? Okay, sir. You can tell her proper sleep, required amount of sleep is also necessary. Why don't you tell that one? That is also important, no? Okay, sir. Timely, good habits, good healthy, okay, healthy habits or healthy lifestyle, lifestyle modification. You can talk about lifestyle modification, no? Okay, sir. Can you use the word lifestyle modification? No. You cannot use in this lifestyle modification? Hmm? Okay, sir. So she is she is taking saturated fats. Okay. And she is eating less fiber. That's why she is given uh, avoid saturated fats and eat more fiber hysteric, right? Yes, yes. So lifestyle modification only that one, right? Don't you see that? She is taking saturated fats. So avoid saturated fats. You understand now? Yes, yes. So lifestyle modification is recommended. You could have used one sentence. You could have got 10 marks for this. Sure, so sure. What yes, yes. If you had used the word lifestyle modification, you could have got 10 more points for this one. Sure, huh? sir. So like this, try to improve this thing. The next one is pronunciation. Okay. Fluency, flow of third subject knowledge. You have subject knowledge, but not too much of subject knowledge. You know, but you're not using. You're not. Exhibition is more. See, you are a painter. You paint some things and put it in your cupboard. What is the use? Every day before sleeping, you open it and check. Oh, this paint is nice. This is nice. And every day morning, you open it and check. And in the day, 10 times, you'll open and check. Then after, put in the cupboard. What is the use of them? You should put it in an exhibition so that people come and appreciate it. They can purchase them. You understand now? Yes, yes. You're not exhibiting things. You're hiding your uh, subject knowledge. What is the use? You have subject knowledge, but you're hiding them. The next one. Uh, yeah, you do have unnecessary sounds. That's there. Then sentence structures. Sentence structures, uh, first, uh, I don't want you to add uh, and make a bigger, bigger sentences. First, you use smaller sentences only and try to make those sentences correct. The next one. Uh, because there are uh, uh, some mistakes out there. Maybe uh, I have noticed five to six uh, grammar mistakes Okay, in the five minutes part. Then next one, presentation. Presentation is fine. There is no problem with that one, but the development, little, you know, wavering line. Then practice more sessions. The mistakes now. The mistakes, first mistake. There are 
the two types of cholesterol will be there. There are and will be there. In the beginning, you are saying there are and in the last, there is, you are saying will be there. There are two types of cholesterol. Finished. Or two types of cholesterol are there. Finished. Either use in the beginning, there are, or use in the end, are there. Why are you using both sides? You have a habit. Earlier also, I told you this thing. Do you remember? So, in the beginning, there are, and after, last, are there, you are using. Don't use like that. Only one in a sentence. Then next one. According to your mother cholesterol. According to your mother cholesterol. What do you mean by according to your mother cholesterol? Not mother cholesterol. Mother's cholesterol. Mother's level of cholesterol levels. Mother's apostrophe S. Mother's cholesterol level. Mother apostrophe S. Yes. Like John, John's book. It is not John book. It is John's book. Apostrophe S yes, is needed. So that is very important. That is very, very important. Apostrophe is needed. See like this, mothers. Mothers. This, this should be there. Okay. That's the problem. Mother's cholesterol level. The next one. You will be increase the cholesterol levels. You will be increase the cholesterol levels. What do you mean by you will be increase the cholesterol levels? You will be increase the cholesterol levels is not grammatically fine. Your cholesterol levels will increase or the cholesterol level will be increased. Active voice or passive voice? Your cholesterol levels will be increased or there will be an increase in your cholesterol level or your cholesterol level will be increased. So you can use that one. But uh, you said uh, you will be increased. You will be increased. No, you will increase your cholesterol levels. Our mm. cholesterol levels will be increased like that. Next one. Uh, you said uh, level means, means, means. What is this means? And why is it coming here? 5.5 level cholesterol indicates the higher side or the extreme level or a borderline indicates, refers to means that we can say so you are using means and again you are using means two times you are using means means like that duplicating the word so don't use that word and means is a very ordinary word uh, it means that this is ordinary word points out infers refers to okay like that you can use some other style so that's fine and then there are some incomplete sentences there are some incomplete sentences. in the middle you are stopping you wanted to speak, suddenly you go in the middle, go to the middle, and then you stop. Then again, start with a new sentence. Like that incomplete sentences, one or two I have seen. Maybe two or three, sorry. Not one or two, two or three. I have noticed. Then again, um, yeah, stop abruptly. Suddenly you stop. And again, start with new sentence. The audio is there, video is there. You can go through that. Okay. Then next one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Raju Lakshmi. Yes, sir. So, what do you think about the feedback which I gave you? Was it necessary or uh, am I correcting too much? Or what do you think about that? It's useful for me, sir. So, you are ready to take all the suggestions which I gave you? Yes, sir. So, go to the video, point, make all the points which I have given and use them and write them. and write. If I say this is good, follow that one, continue. If you say this, avoid this one, follow that one. Okay? Right. Okay. And uh, give me your feedback regarding the session. What did you learn and how you felt, uh, how it is useful and uh, uh, give your recommendations to the other students, how they should follow it up. Come on. Two minutes for you. It's very useful section and what we have doing mistakes, we are uh, we come to know. We don't know. Uh, we are not practicing means we don't know that one. No? So if we daily practicing means we can gain for more trips, tips and tricks and we can follow for that. I would like to suggest uh, daily practice is very important. Thank you very much for your feedback. Yeah, your instructions we will follow for.